Hey everybody, my name's Tara and I'm a Teen Services Librarian for the Sonoma County Library. I'm here today to talk to you about the book You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. So, I don't know about you, but for me, when I think about resistance and fighting oppression, usually the first thing that comes to mind is not running for prom queen. But you know what, this book actually made me think about that a little bit differently. So in it, Liz Lighty, our main character, is a queer black teen musician who struggles with anxiety and whose family just doesn't have the same kind of money and resources that a lot of her mostly white, predominantly upper class classmates have. But Liz is determined to go to the college of her dreams. But when her scholarship application is denied, she has to figure out another way to make the money for college. So in this small town that Liz lives in, prom is a big deal, like ridiculous. The whole town is obsessed with it, and the prom king and queen even each win $10,000. Okay, side note, is this a real thing? Like, does this actually happen in places? My town, my school that I went to was so small that we didn't even have prom. Like. 11 people in my graduating class small. So I am by no means any kind of expert on anything prom related. But whether or not that part of the storyline is realistic or not, um, Liz ends up deciding reluctantly to run for prom queen to make that money for college. So along the way she realizes that she doesn't actually have to follow the school's outdated, racist, sexist, and homophobic rules about prom. She can create her own. And along the way, she falls for the adorable new girl, Mac, and they have a delightful romance along the way. I feel like the plot sounds so cheesy when I describe it, but somehow it's just not. Liz is relatable, she's lovable, and you just can't not root for her. And she shows us that resisting oppression doesn't just happen in the streets or in changing laws and policies. It also happens in all of these everyday interactions that we have. And all of it is important. So as you can probably tell, I loved this book. And you know what? I'm actually known for loving sad books. Like if a book makes me ball my eyes out, I am all in for it. But you know what? There are so many stories about queer people that end in tragedy and that end in violence. And dang it, we deserve happy endings too. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler. In any case, it's a fantastic book and I hope that you'll read it. If you're interested in reading other books like You Should See Me in a Crown, if you're a teen in between the ages of 13 and 18, you can join us for our virtual Teen Pride Book Club. For more information, check out the link below. And the way this book club works is a little bit different. We're not all going to read the same book every month and talk about it. We're going to have a theme every month. So for September, our theme is Queer YA by Black Authors. So we'll suggest a few different titles um, that we recommend, or you can pick your own to read for the month. All right, I'll see you next time.